Hello everyone. In today's class, we will discuss about forest conservation. Forest conservation means the steps taken for preservation and protection of forests. Conservation is the wise and careful use of resources. For conserving forests, the following practices should be adopted. Unplanned and indiscriminate deforestation must be stopped. Forests should not be overexploited. Use of wood as fuel should be discouraged. We should plant new fast-growing trees. We should protect national parks, wildlife sanctuaries or biosphere reserves. Forests are very important as these play a vital role in developing the life cycle of the animals and also maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Preventing deforestation. Deforestation is the ruthless cutting down of trees. Deforestation means cutting or clearing of trees or forests of a large area for the facilitation of human activities. It is a serious environmental concern since it can result in loss of biodiversity. Deforestation is also a major contributor to global warming and climate change. We should try to stop deforestation. People should prevent this dangerous disaster by establishing organizations, educating and informing people, recycling the waste materials and establishing some serious laws. Everyone should inform their families, their friends, their relatives and the rest of the world about the consequences of deforestation. Reforestation is the natural or intentional restocking of existing forests and woodlands that have been depleted usually through deforestation. Reforestation can be used to undo and rectify the effects of deforestation. Reforestation is a very important procedure in order to save our planet. Many org organizations are working towards the protection and restoration of forests by various methods such as imparting education to people regarding the importance of forests. Governments in different countries are also trying to introduce strict policies regarding the protection and conservation of forests. Afforestation is establishment of new forests where no forest existed previously. It helps to slow down global warming by reducing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It provides other environmental benefits including increasing the soil quality, avoiding erosion and desertification. The planting of trees in urban areas is also able to reduce air pollution. Joom cultivation Joom cultivation is also called slash and burn agriculture. Joom cultivation is considered highly destructive to environment as it involves burning and clearing vast areas of forests so that cultivation can be done for few years. It does not only destroy forests but also disturbs the ecological balance and destroys the environment. My dear students, do your part. Plant a sapling. Make judicious use of the resources you have. Everyone can make a difference. Let's make the world a better place for the current generation and the generations to come. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Have a good day.